King James Version only, is the false belief that God's Word, the Holy Bible, has only been faithfully preserved in one English translation, the 1611 King James. That all modern translations of the Word of God after KJV 1611 are perverted. The King James only teaching of demons. If your original Hebrew disagrees with my original King James, your original Hebrew is wrong. If your original Hebrew agrees with my original King James, your original Hebrew is right. Christians are truth lovers. King James onlyists are lovers of falsehood and delusions and will be condemned. He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false, and does not swear deceitfully. Therefore God sends them a strong delusion, so that they may believe what is false, in order that all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But nothing unclean will ever enter it, nor anyone who does what is detestable or false, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. With King James only is Reading a non-KJV translation is a crime. They falsely accuse all faithful translations of being perverted. Though Rob Skiba does go beyond what is written, violating 1 Corinthians 4, 6, he must not be punished for not using KJV. The King James only heresy was invented by a line of false teachers. Benjamin Wilkinson, a SDA theologian, published our authorized Bible vindicated in 1930. Jasper James Ray, a businessman published, God Wrote Only One Bible, in 1955. David Otis Fuller, a Baptist, edited a book, Which Bible? In 1970, repeating Wilking Son's lies. Peter Sturges Ruckman, a Baptist, proclaimed that the King James Version Bible is superior to existing Hebrew and Greek manuscripts. Gail Ripplinger, a Jezebel, in her third marriage, published a pile of Satan's lies called New Age Bible Versions to attack the Word of God. Jack Chick published his Sabotage to advocate King James Onlyism. The best known King James Only advocator is Gail Ripplinger and her New Age Bible Versions which is filled with her libels against Brooke Westcott and John Anthony Hort. Fred Butler, an ex-King James Onlyist, says this about Gail Ripplinger. Quote, the author, Gail Ripplinger, gathered all the threads of knowledge pertaining to textual criticism, her degree in interior design provided, and with a skillful use of ellipsis, masterfully wove together scholarly ineptitude twisted exegesis, conspiracy theories, her personal revelations from God, illogical comparison charts, distorted fact, and a sinister red and black cover, to produce a hideous literary tapestry. End quote. Watch how Gail Ripplinger puts her lies into God's mouth. Quote, Each discovery was not the result of effort on my part, but of the direct hand of God, so much so that I hesitated to even put my name on the book. Consequently, I used G.A. Ripplinger, which signifies to me God and Ripplinger. God as author and Ripplinger as secretary. End quote. Bob and Gretchen Passantino spoke about Ripplinger's satanic book. Quote. There is hardly a page of this book that is free from error. Ripplinger does not know Greek, Hebrew, textual criticism, linguistics, principles of translation, logical argumentation, proper citation and documentation standards, competent English grammar and style or even consistent spelling. This book would never have done 
more than use Ripplinger's savings and fill up her garage. If Christian celebrities, such as Teeks Mars and David Hawking, had not promoted it, End quote. And I'm sitting next to Gail Ripplinger, who's written prolifically on the King James Bible. Thanks. I'm going to carry all of your books and encourage people, if you're going to study the Bible, study the real Bible. King James is the only version of the Bible that calls it Easter in Acts chapter 12 and verse number 4. Every other version says it was Passover. And people say, this is wrong. King James is wrong about this. Well, now hold on a minute. Let's read the passage here. The 14th day of the first month is the Passover. The fifteenth day is the feast. Seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. So the feast days are never called Passover anywhere in Scripture. So the feast days are never called Passover anywhere in Scripture. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew near, which is called the Passover. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew near, which is called the Passover. The Bible says Peter was arrested during the days of unleavened bread. The Passover was already done. Herod wanted to keep Peter and kill him during his own pagan festival of Easter, which was coming up in a few days. The King James is the only version to get it right. Is the King James is the only version to get it right. Is the King James is the only version to get it right. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness. That I believe that the KJV is without error because it is a perfectly accurate translation of the originals. By claiming KJV, error-free, King James Onlyus, are condemning the Greek and Hebrew original word of God, erroneous. Because KJV does not agree with the Hebrew or Greek Bible. In this video, King James Onlyist, ABC Not Christian, preaches an incomplete salvation message, a superficial false faith, without obeying the Lord Jesus Christ, to the unsaved. He is deceived by KJV errors, and he is deceiving others with the same KJV errors. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. On that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name? and do many mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness.
and in your offspring all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. Now stay away from the New King James Bible, okay? So the New King James Bible, uh, that's the one you want to um, you know, stay away from. You want the King James Bible. You want the King James Bible. 17, based on the 1769 version, okay? It's saying, didn't consider equality with God. Where the King James Bible is saying that they're equal. Jesus and God are equal. Who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. It's saying that they're equal. And his version of Rob Skibba is saying the opposite of it. The World English Bible. World English Bible, Philippians 2, 6, does not say, Jesus not equal with God, as King James onlyist. ABC not Christian. Lies to you. But it says, Jesus did not consider equality with God a thing to be grasped. Look what it says here. For by him all things were created, in the heavens and on the earth, things visible and things invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things, and here's where they change it, okay? They're changing the word of God. They're changing the word of God. They're changing the word of God. All things have been created through him. So instead of by him, it's through him and for him. And that's a big change. So instead of by him, it's through him and for him. And that's a big change. Faithful translation for John 1, 3. All things came into being through him. And apart from him, nothing came into being. That has come into being. The Greek word d, d which occurs in the Bible 669 times, means through, throughout, by the instrumentality of, on account of, by reason of, for the sake of, and, because of. KJV has not translated God's word faithfully. In all the 669 occurrences of D, the New American Standard Bible faithfully translated the Greek word, while KJV did not. If you do your own research, the New American Standard Bible is changing God's word uh, from the King James. It's changing God's word uh, from the King James. Well, it's changing God's word uh, from the King James. So use the King James Bible if you can read English. These supposed errors, and I say supposed because these errors that she's talking about, her video is false, okay? And I believe the King James Bible as being the word of God. And she's saying you're going to go to hell then. KJV is the altered word of God. King James only is ABC, not Christian, is going to hell. Because he replaces God's original Greek Bible with Masonic KJV errors. And he refuses to repent, but sticks to his satanic lies against the word of God. KJV 1611 is not only full of errors, but also packed with Roman gods and Masonic symbols.
Let's take a look, at a few of KJV's many crimes. KJV replaces God's Passover, with the Easter of Rome, in Acts 12 4. KJV removes the obedience to Christ, from the faith, in John 3 36. KJV makes Satan, a true angel of light, in 2 Corinthians 11 14. KJV makes God the tempter, which is Satan himself, in Genesis 22 1. KJV blasphemes the Holy Spirit, as a ghost, throughout the New Testament translation. A ghost, is an apparition of a dead person, a demon in disguise. KJV makes God the inventor of evil, which is Satan himself, in Isaiah 45 7. KJV replaces God himself, with Masonic Gnosis, in Isaiah 33 6. KJV inserts words, into 1 John 5 7. To falsify a triune God, for Rome's Trinity doctrine. KJV alters God's word, to avoid offending King James, who was a bisexual, in 1 Timothy 1.10, and 1 Corinthians 6.9. Late 19th century, the word homosexuality. That's when the word was coined. And if you go back to our video here, King James Bible, 1611. The word homosexuality wasn't even in existence. Homosexual is a modern word. Sodomite and sodomy, however, are ancient words, available for KJV 1611. But KJV intentionally avoided the correct word, to please bisexual King James, thus KJV altered God's word, and deceives its readers. So she covers up uh, Donald Trump's wife, she shows her like fully naked and um, just covers her up with a little dot here and a little dot there, a little over there in her thumbnail. Uh, that's inappropriate, you know, because she says, oh, King James, he's a mason and this and that. And he's she accuses him of being a bisexual. And that, where's the proof here, you know? So she just claims that he's bisexual, even though he was married, had children. Um, they tried to kill King James and she even knows about that, that, oh yeah, the Jesuits tried to kill King James when he was working on the King James Bible. Um, the King James Bible isn't going to send you to hell by reading it, okay, Grace Bride? She says, oh no, the errors, that's what's causing it. She thinks there's some kind of conspiracy, obviously. And All King James onlyists are satanic conspiracy theorists accusing other Bible translations of changing God's word. Because they are faithful translations of the hebrew and greek bible as christians as christians as christians we got to carry carry ourselves with um you know care and love in the comment section okay um and you know you shouldn't be condemning other christian brothers and sisters to hell okay in the comment section you know you got to be um you know patient with the people that are commenting and you got to be um loving and she says she cares about me. And you know, I care about her too. And you know, I care about her too. And you know, I care about her too. And <laughs>